Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Jay Walker. Today, another ghost story for a Saturday, Haunted Hospital Edition. Today, I got a good one. Story from a friend. This one's fantastic. Let's get going on a Jay Walk. So, as I mentioned, I've got a good one today. Another story from a friend. This one I have been wanting to get wanting to hear the story and wanting to get down on film for quite a while. Uh, this one's from a good friend of mine uh, at work. It happened on the unit that I work on um, and fairly recently. So, you know, there, there are some weird things that, that happen on my unit. I have thought for a long time other than the weird you know, call lights going off, you know, in empty rooms and those type of things, which is almost commonplace in a lot of healthcare facilities that there wasn't a whole lot going on on, and on the unit that I work on. Now, I talked a little bit about the, the experiences that we have had, that I've had, that other people have had. This one is quite possibly maybe the best one that I've heard so far. So, so my friend, she'd had, um, so our, our, so our unit is a triangle, um, and we have little nursing stations and out on the different, you know, out in the corners of the unit. Um, and my friend was sitting out at one of these outlier nurses stations. Now, a lot of times we don't, you know, the nurses don't usually sit um, at these, at these kind of outlying nurses stations, mainly for the reason that a lot of us just, you know, while we're trying to chart and trying to, you know, get things done, you try to avoid getting bombarded with, you know, questions from family members that, that aren't our patients um, and different things, We're trying to get our work done. And so we, we sit in, in the center portion of, of our floors. Most of us sit there. Um, my friend happened to be sitting at one of these outlying nurses stations and it just happened to be one that was close to where her patients were. She had a few rooms in a row. Um, you know, generally that's how our floor works. Others don't do it that way, but our our unit works. We you know the nurses get set up to work a certain number of in certain certain numbers of rooms, you know. You get these four rooms, these are the four rooms that you're taking care of during your shift. And so hers were right in a row. And as she's sitting here, she can she's sitting at this nurse's station, she can see um, her rooms. And they're fairly close there. And as she's sitting there, she's got an empty room. So, you know, she has discharged the patient. The room is sitting empty, so there's no one there. The room has been cleaned by you know, our housekeeping staff, she's basically waiting on an admin. Uh, someone, you know, another, another patient, a new patient to come up. Um, and she hadn't ever, hadn't heard anything about a new patient coming in. Um, but as she is sitting at this nursing station, doing some work, she sees someone walking into this empty room. First thought was, wait, did I get an admit and no one tell me? What the heck is going on here? So she stands up, walks down to this room. The room is empty, but she can see and the door to the room is open, as is the, the procedure with our empty rooms, you know, that we're waiting on. Um, our admits coming into doors are open. Uh, generally, the the bathroom doors inside 
the rooms are closed, but she sees that the bathroom door is ajar. And she can see the shower curtain in the bathroom shaking, moving, swinging, just moving. And it shouldn't be. So she walks into the room, you know, hi, hello, is someone here? You know, I, I'm a nurse, I need you help in here, what's going on? And as she's walking across the room, gets to the bathroom, opens the bathroom door, curtain stops moving. It was moving, it was shaking, stops. Just stops. Needless to say, she's kind of freaking out a little bit. She walks out of the room and on the way out happens to grab the door and shut it behind her. Like I said, a little unnerved, goes back to where she was sitting at this nurse's station. She's got some, some work to do on the computer, sits down on the computer, gets in, starts working at the computer where as she's working, she feels, she senses someone, a presence, something by her, slightly behind her, to her side. Senses this presence, hears somebody whisper her name, like, right in her ear, and then feels the pressure of somebody's arm, her hand there on her shoulder. Again, hears her name, and starts to turn, and as she's turning, she's looking down the hallway at that, at that empty room that she didn't just close the door on to see that door swing and open. She trips on down to that room. Again, already just freaking out because she's already had something go on in there, and it's just having more and more things happen. She goes down to the room again. She has the doors closed. Sees the door to the room, go into the hall, open, bathroom doors ajar, and sees that shower curtain again, just shaking and moving. <sighs> Needless to say, she kind of noped on away from, <laughs> from that end of the hall, freaking and um, you know, goes in, uh, starts freaking out, talking to, talking to other staff members. Now, we, you know, there's been a number of staff members that have had a number of experiences with these particular rooms. Um, I've never had any paranormal experiences with these rooms, but the room that she was, um, talking about that happened, that this experience happened in. I know that I have had one of my own patients pass away in that particular room. I didn't tell her that when she was telling me the story. But uh, I do know that, you know, I mean, we're a hospital, we're, you know, high acuity patients, we work on a cardiovascular unit, our patients occasionally do pass away and I've had patients pass, or a patient pass in that particular room and I know that there's been more than just mine at this point as well. I mean, the hospital's been open for a number of years. But that's today's story. Thanks for joining me. Gonna get more stories. Join me again. Talk more about the honor hospitals and other places. We'll see you soon.